Hello everyone, I will be doing a reading for Divinity 06. She has asked me to do a love reading for her, so I will go ahead and uh, do that for her. Um, I'm going to be using the same deck I used in the previous reading, the Gilded Tarot, which I have on my table. And I'm going to do a, like I always do, I use an oracle first to get some kind of guidance. And I'm going to be using, instead of using an oracle, I'm going to use the Nigel Jackson Tarot. Just to get me a, just get a different angle of it. I don't know, I just feel it different this time. So I'm going to go ahead and use the, another deck of tarot, which is the Nigel Jackson. And I'm going to pick out one card. This is a general oracle message for divinity in her love question. Okay. And the card I got is a death card. Okay, now this card is talking about endings and new beginnings. Definitely there is some endings in this in your love life. Um, there's an ending of cycle and there's a new beginning for you. So there's going to be a lot of changes, radical changes that you're going through in your love life. And unfortunately there is some endings at the same time that I see here. And uh, the card talks about also a new beginning now the sign Scorpio comes out very strongly here I don't know if it could be in times of Scorpio or a person by that sign that will come to your life and will come in some sort of form to bring you maybe some good news or even come as a new love for you and uh, definitely there's a lot of changes okay so radical changes for you and even though you feel like the world is coming down on you in that part of your life it's saying that you're going to start a new life and that it's for the better much better um, so that's what the card is saying the death card okay okay so that was the first card for the oracle i'm going to go ahead and do the reading and um, I'm going to do the Love Celtic Cross, so let's see what the cards have to say regarding this person. is going to be the present situation in your love life right now. We have the Four of Cups. This is a, basically a card of disappointments, okay? Um, we have here a person sitting down and there's a cup coming. Even though you're sad, you're disappointed, you feel like things didn't go as you planned, there's going to be something better coming for you, much better, even though you planned on something different. Um, it looks like there is a different pers person coming in your life. Okay, totally different. So there is changes for you coming in. The next card is crossing energies regarding this matter and it's the Six of Cups. Now, this card is a card of past and it's also talking about nostalgia. And it says that you are going through a phase right now where you feel very nostalgic and very sad and you want to make things back to what you had you want to go back in time okay but that's that's what's basically giving you the hardest time is overcoming the past okay because of that nostalgia that um, reminiscing of in the past going back in that time where you had that relationship and it was the best the next card is the underlying situation and we have the Page of Swords. 
And this card talks about trickery and also lies, okay, or some kind of deception. Now, it looks like there was a person or the person that you, you're interested in came to you in a form and basically had a different intention, okay? Um, wasn't clear about their, what they wanted and uh, didn't come through the way they wanted to come through. Okay, so that's what I see here. And that's what basically has you so hurt is that you have an impression of this person and they came out to be different, totally different. The next card is a recent past and we have a Nine of Cups. And the kind of Nine of Cups is a card of wishes and happiness. Now, even though you're going in your love life, you're going through some issues, you're in another in the area of finances or maybe in career and work, you did receive some good news of some sort. Um, even in family, even if it has to be through family as well, it could be a family member had a promotion or something of that nature. Okay. The next card is the near future, and we have the emperor. Now this card talks about um, education, um, it talks about stability and starting a new life for yourself. So it's going to be a lot of strength coming to you, within you, and you feel like you don't have it, but you will, okay? So there's going to be some strength that's coming to you, and you're even praying about that, okay, to help you go through this minor deception that you've had. The next card is also near future and we have the four of pentacles this card is also talking about stability and happiness and prosperity okay and the next full moon is what i see here coming out and it talks about um basically by the next full moon with it which is the next month you will be having some good news okay the next card is um, going to be your aura, how your aura is right now. And we have the two of swords. Now basically it's talking about some blueness. We see definitely a lot of blue in this card. And blue is obviously, obviously I'm sorry, uh, sadness, depression, and uh, a little bit of uh, also looking within yourself, within your, your soul, trying to find answers to, to this problem. And we also see, um, I see here, indecision, okay, you're not sure, you don't know what to do, you don't know what, where, what, which path to go, okay, so that's what I see here, a lot of indecision. The next card is the home card, and environments around you, and it's the hermit, I definitely see a very protective guide, angel around you. Okay, that's helping you, that's guiding you, that's helping you go through this process. And you will be receiving a message from your guide, uh, from your angels uh, regarding the situation. It's just a matter of asking, asking in your dreams and asking and praying about your answer. And you will receive that answer very soon. The next card is the Eight of Swords. This is the fear. And you just want to get out of the situation. You want to get out of this blockage that you have, this uncertainty, this sadness, this situation. You want to get out of it. And the last card is the outcome, which is the star card. Very beautiful. This is the card of hope. So definitely you will be getting some... The, you're, you're going to overcome this situation. It's just going to take some little minor time. I don't see very, you, you lingering into the sadness for a long time. It's just going to be very minor. And, but definitely you will be meeting a new person. Um, it probably could be this emperor at the same time, this man, this part, man of strength, of position uh, that you might be meeting soon within the next four uh, weeks to four months. You will be meeting a new person. And this person is going to bring you st uh, strength and stability and hopes again. Okay? But definitely this person is not for you, the person that came back. Okay? Um, I hope I've answered all your questions. If you do have more questions, please let me know. I don't have any problems with doing you another reading. Maybe we could tap into a different area or even another question that you might have or something more specific that you might have that you might want to um, know. All right. Thank you so much. I hope everything um, works out for you.